So I said, Jim, we're going to do a Christmas show next year in Branson. And I know that our audiences would love you. Would you come and help us? And he did. We want you to please make welcome our good buddy, Mr. Jim Oakley. He's one of the funniest human beings I've ever met. We were here a couple of days and got invited to a costume party. And that was kind of funny because we had no idea what kind of costume to wear. So at the last minute, I got out my old army uniform, and she wore the shirt, and I wore the pants. <laughs> and we went to the party as an upper and lower GI. <laughs> Peacefully, like he did. Not kicking and screaming like all the passengers in his car. <laughs> I said, Jim, this is the best new restaurant we've gone to in 10 years. And I said, that's great, Dad. Tell me the name, and when we get back from Branson, we'll go. And he said, it's called... It's called... And he looked at me and said, you know, when you get to be my age, the old memory goes. He said, I can't remember anything anymore. You're going to have to help me. I said, what can I do? He said, well, what's the name of that real popular flower? And I said, the flower, you mean the kind that you plant, like a tulip or a lilac or a chrysanthemum? And he said, well, I like those, but the, the real popular one, the red one, the one with the thorns. I said, do you mean Rose? And he said, yeah, that's it. He turned to his new bride and said, hey, Rose, what's the name of that new restaurant we went to?
take her any place nice, and she's right because I work weekends and evenings, and I don't really take her out enough. But I live in the Detroit area. I read about this new restaurant uh, last summer, and, and I decided I want to take my wife there because it looked fancy, it looked expensive. I want to take her there and show her that I really do love her. I care about her, and she really, really is special. And besides that, a kuma. <laughs> And we're sitting in a restaurant, there's a couple next to us, and right in the middle of dinner, the man slid off of this chair and went underneath the table, completely covered by the tablecloth. Now I got a little concerned, so I reached over and I tapped the woman on the shoulder. I said, excuse me, ma'am, but your husband just slid off his chair and went underneath the table. She said, no, he didn't. My husband just walked in the front door. <laughs> I'm Pam Tillis, and I first met Jim working at the Macomb Center when I was performing in Michigan. And I want to tell you, I worked with him a couple of times since then, and every time the audience loves him, he is truly a funny man. <laughs> Don't mind him, he's just, uh, he just uh, the help here. <laughs> that was my dad. And if there's one thing I did, I grew up around great humor, great comedy, and um, and I know somebody funny when I meet them, and I've really enjoyed Jim's work. You can't go wrong with Jim. I really mean that. I truly think a lot of him.